Hello and welcome back to the Venture Brothers Best Ever episode, March Madness Bracket, Week 4. Uh, this is the final week of the competition. 86 episodes have gone head-to-head -head since December. Uh, basically, I mean, 85 days, basically, of competitions have all led to this moment. Uh, we have just eight combatants remaining. They are Everybody Comes to Hanks, Trial of the Monarch, Operation Prom, The Terminus Mandate, Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2, Arrears in Science, Powerless in the Face of Death, All This, and Gargantua 2. So, without further ado, let's, let's jump straight into it. In round four, uh, Everybody Comes to Hanks went up against The Trial of the Monarch, and Everybody Comes to Hanks won with 73% of the vote. Next up, Operation Prom versus the Terminus Mandate. Operation Prom beat the Terminus Mandate with 66% of the vote. Showdown at Cremation Creek, Part 2 versus Arrears in Science. I thought Arrears in Science would take it, but Showdown at Cremation Creek, Part 2 won with 55% of the vote. It was a very close race, and I was wrong about the outcome. Next up. Powerless in the Face of Death versus All This and Gargantua 2. All This and Gargantua 2 took it 67% of the vote. And then there were four. First up, Everybody Comes to Hanks versus Operation Prom. This was the big shakeup. This was the thing that surprised me more than anything else in this entire competition. Everybody Comes to Hanks won with 61% of the vote. Now, honestly, uh, I thought the whole time Operation Prom would win this entire thing. And as the days went on, uh, I noticed in the Facebook comments, a lot of people were also saying the same thing. Operation Prom is probably going to win. Operation Prom is probably going to win. And part of me wonders if people actually voted for Everybody Comes to Hanks because they were kind of bored at the idea of the obvious happening. Uh, Operation Prom winning. Um, but I don't know. I mean, Everybody Comes to Hanks is an episode everybody loves. But uh, I was surprised to beat Operation Prom. I, I truly was. Uh, next up, Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2 versus All This in Gargantua 2. All This in Gargantua 2 won with 68% of the vote. And then there were two. Everybody Comes to Hanks and All This in Gargantua 2. I'm going to run through a little bit of history here. Everybody Comes to Hanks uh, was actually one of the randomly chosen episodes to compete in the preliminary qualifying event. So it went up against uh, The Family That Slays Together Part 1 in that. Uh, in round 1, it went up against Viva Los Muertos. In round 2, it beat Now Museum, Now You Don't. In round 3, it beat Tag Sale, You're It. Uh, the creation of Hanko and the uh, ultimate example of, of Hanko at its finest. In round four, it went up against Trial of the Monarch. And in round five, it beat the heavyweight Operation Prom. The biggest landslide was against Now Museum, Now You Don't, in which it got 83% of the vote. And its closest match, not Operation Prom, was Tag Sale, You're It, in which it got 57% of the vote. Meanwhile, All This and Gargantua 2 got lucky, didn't have to compete in the preliminary bout. So round one, it went up against I Know Why the Caged Bird Kills. Round two, it went up against What Goes Down Must Come Up. Round three, it went up against 20 Years to Midnight. Round four, it went up against Powerless in the Face of Death. Round five, it went up against Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2. Biggest Landslide was against What Goes Down Must Come Up, in which it received 89% of the vote. And its closest match was 20 Years to Midnight, in which it received 64% of the vote. So it all comes down to this. Uh, everybody Comes to Hanks versus All This and Gargantua 2. The winner received 53% of the vote. Typically, I would gather these numbers after uh, 24 hours, but uh, it's been like a week or so. Uh, there were 466 total votes. 249 to 218, the winner was All This and Gargantua 2. Uh, I mean, I predicted between the two, that one would win. 
Um, I was a little surprised it got as far as it did. I mean, I like all this in Gargantua too. I didn't think it would go all the way. I figured it would get far, but going all the way kind of surprised me. I listen to a podcast that is about grammar because I'm a nerd in multiple ways. She actually did a March Madness bracket, the, the host of the podcast, and she had polls going simultaneously on Facebook and on Twitter. And she said whenever she posted on Facebook, um, people could see the results in real time. And there was more of a hive mind thing there. The, the, the Facebook results were more landslidey versus the Twitter results which uh, you wouldn't see until you cast your vote, was more, uh, was less land slidey because people, people wouldn't see the popular opinion and just go with that. Uh, so interesting to point out. Um, another thing that we learned from this is y'all really don't like season six. Season six lost every single time and it was eliminated pretty much immediately. I never had any idea that season six was was kind of looked down upon. I mean, it's a it's a huge change, obviously, rebooting the show, putting it in New York City. Um, but I mean, in my estimation, season six is better than season seven because season six has the Blue Morpho arc, and I love the Blue Morpho arc. Um, so I was I was really surprised. I I enjoyed the kind of Monster of the Week, Villain of the Week format of Season 6. You know, it was different. It was a departure from the Venture Brothers that we all know and love. But, I mean, so was Season 4. So was, uh, you know, I mean, that that's... I, I was super surprised. I thought the move to New York City was a refreshing change of pace. I liked it. I, uh, I'll go to my grave defending Season 6. Maybe it's just Facebook people that don't like Season 6. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking. But yeah, season six is great. The final thought is uh, brackets suck as a ranking system. You might uh, want to say that, oh, the, the best episode of all time is all this Gargantua 2. And the second best episode of all time is Everybody Comes to Hanks. But we can't really, that might be true, but we can't actually say that uh, based on the results of the bracket. Because theoretically, all this Gargantua 2 could have beat the in the very first round all this in gargantua 2 went up against i know why the caged bird kills theoretically i know why the caged bird kills could be the second best episode of the venture brothers of all time but it was eliminated in the first round because it went up against the quote unquote best episode of venture brothers of all time uh that's really all i got uh i hope this if you've hated this little departure on my channel um it's over We'll be back next week with a deep dive on Brock Sampson, his past, his present, not really his future. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about Brock next week. And in the month of April, we're going to do all, uh, I'm going to pick, f there's actually a fifth Sunday in April. So I'm going to do character analyses all month, five characters. Brock is up first. We will see you next week. Oh, go team venture. Go team venture. I, I should probably just end every video that way. Go Team Venture.